Guys, listen up. I got some amazing information for you. Uh, Michael Jordan is doing the carnivore diet. I know, it's crazy. Actually, no, I'm sorry, I'm kidding. Uh, Jordan Peterson. All right, I'm lying, I'm lying. My buddy, my little buddy, my short little buddy, Jordan Syatt, is doing the carnivore diet. In this video, you're gonna see me explaining the carnivore diet to Jordan Syatt. I'm Mark Bell, and I'm gonna give Jordan Syatt his diet. I already gave uh, Jordan some instruction and some information on what I think he should do with the carnivore diet. Um, for those of you that have no experience with the carnivore diets, for those of you that don't understand the carnivore diet or know the makings of the carnivore diet, there's a few different ways that you can do the carnivore diet. Now you would think it's called the carnivore diet, so you should only eat meat all the time, right? Best thing that ever happened to me. I, I disagree with that statement. I think that there's degrees to everything. Um, I think there's degrees to, uh, you know, get, getting a degree in the first place, right? Like when you go to school, when you go to college, you can get a four-year degree, you can get a PhD, or you can go to a junior college, or you can not go to school at all, not graduate from anything other than high school, like yours truly, right? So there's different degrees to it, and I think that's always the case. And when it comes to the carnivore diet, I'm gonna give you the kind of the nuts and bolts of it right here. You're gonna eat meat, and when it comes to meat, I think immediately, everyone's always thinking of steak. I don't know why, but they're just always thinking of steak um, or hamburger, right? Well, you can have a lot of different things other than just cows. You can eat other things. You can eat bison, you can have chicken, you can have pork, you can have fish. All these things are great options for you to try. Um, I personally, the foods that I like to eat a lot, I like to eat a lot of steak and the types of steaks that I eat. I eat um, ribeye, I eat um, sirloin, I eat uh, filet mignon. Some of those, sometimes those steaks can be expensive. Cheaper cuts are gonna be like your New York strips. There's flat iron steaks. There's um, something that's called an eye of round steak. Those are, uh, those are fairly inexpensive and extremely lean. We're not too uh, worried about caloric intake. We're not too worried about how much we eat, we're also gonna be eating eggs. I'm gonna explain why we're not too worried about how much we eat in a second, because I know that Jordan would wanna refute that because Jordan is a calorie counter, right? Jordan loves uh, tracking the calories and he's a big proponent of it. And I agree with a lot of the stuff that he says, but I'm gonna explain why we're not too worried about counting calories in this situation. So we have any kind of meat and we have eggs. Another favorite of mine is uh, chicken wings. Um, I'll occasionally cook up some chicken wings. I'm not afraid of spices, okay? I'm not afraid to put, you know, some hot sauce on something. I'm not afraid to use mustard. But what I won't do is I won't use ketchup. I'm not gonna use ranch dressing. I'm not gonna use too many of these things that have a lot of vegetable oils in them. Also, as it pertains to vegetables, if you utilize vegetables in a, like, let's say like a crock pot or something, because it's part of a recipe, I think it's fair game. I personally don't have an issue with it. If you're trying the carnivore diet because you have autoimmune disorders, um, you have eczema, you have some sort of uh, disorder or some sort of disease, and you want to see if the carnivore diet will work against that, then that's when you're gonna wanna be strictly, strictly carnivore. How long should you try this diet for? I think to give it a fair shake, what I suggested to Jordan was eight weeks. I know that a lot of people are you know, enjoying, you know, uh, Dr. Sean Baker's carnivore challenge that he did in January, and they do it for a month and they give it a shot. But I really don't think a month is a long enough time to really feel. Now, you'll feel a huge difference within three days, maybe even five days. Uh, maybe even for some people, it might be more like seven days. It might take a second. But you're gonna notice some, some massive changes very, very quickly. But the reason why I want you to stay on the diet, stay focused on it for a period of time, is so that you can see how your body's actually doing with the diet. And you can, you're gonna to start to notice more benefits the longer that you stay on the diet. Let me address the calorie situation for a second here. When you start to eat large amounts of protein, you end up with something called protein leveraging. Protein, in my opinion, different people have different opinions about this, so don't get triggered over there. Try to remain calm. Some nasal breathing, right? <laughs> Try to remain calm. In my opinion, protein shouldn't even count as a calorie, but it does. It counts as four calories per gram. Um, I, in my opinion, I think that protein should count for maybe like one or two uh, calories, but 
it counts, right? And I know that people are counting it, but I think that this is one reason why when you go on a carnivore style diet or when you go on a high protein diet, it seems like you can eat endless amounts of food and still achieve a really good result and still lose weight. But that's not even the reason why I suggest that you don't count calories. I suggest that you don't count calories because I want you to get used to the food. This is the single most important thing, in my opinion, for most people, I can't say all, but this is uh, the single most important thing for most people to be able to have success on a diet is to get used to the foods that are available to them. One thing I forgot to mention, two things I forgot to mention now that I'm thinking about it is, we also have cheese and we also have butter. You may want to be a little careful with cheese because we tend to want to overdo cheese and then your overall calories might be through the roof because there's, for as much protein as there is in uh, cheese, there's as much fat, right? Um, when it comes to things like heavy cream, like these things might be dense and they might end up uh, leading you down the same path that you went down when you were never even on a diet in the first place, which is overeating. Why is everybody fat? Why is, well not everybody, why is America fat? You know, why are a lot of Americans fat? Why do a lot of Americans have disease? It's because we eat too much. A carnivore style diet can be fantastic in teaching you how much you should eat in order to make progress, in order to lose weight. It's worked fantastic for me. I know it will work really well for a lot of you. What I explained when, as I was talking to Jordan the other day, you end up with something that I call inadvertent fasting. What happens is you supply your body with the fat that it needs. You supply your body with the protein that it needs. You supply your body with the energy that it needs, the micronutrients and the macronutrients that it needs. And your satisfaction levels because of the types of foods that you're eating. I mean, having a bacon and cheese omelet is amazing or a sausage, egg and cheese omelet is amazing. It tastes so good, right? Having these things is absolutely fantastic. So your satisfaction is through the roof. You're going to end up with these great cravings for a lot of different foods and a lot of different um, flavors and stuff like that. But when you have options to eat, uh, you know, a, a ribeye and then a salmon and then uh, a bacon, egg and cheese omelet and with butter on it and you have all these great options of food, small deviations that might happen in there. You might have plant toxins, which would be something like coffee <laughs> or tea. I'm, I'm just teasing about it being a plant toxin. I just think that's kind of a funny term because people have uh, really kind of bastardized everything. Uh, have you ever heard somebody say like, oh man, the guy does too much cardio, he can't lose any fat? Or uh, you, know, veg you know, now people are trying to say that vegetables are bad. I don't think that vegetables are bad and I, I don't think that anyone's fat from doing cardio. You, know, you also hear sometimes people are like, people who are, are gaining weight because they don't eat enough. And I think that's uh, false as well. Uh, anyway. Those are other topics for another day. Jordan, enjoy this diet. You're gonna have a great time with it. And the thing I'm most excited about is I cannot wait until like day number four when you've been super strict on a carnivore diet and you had a tsunami of diarrhea fire out of your butthole. I cannot wait to get that phone call. Please take pictures. A video would be inappropriate. That'd be disgusting. But a couple of photos of the backsplash of your bathroom and, and all that would be uh, absolutely fantastic. Be careful with that. Be cautious of that. That can happen on a carnivore diet. But for anybody that does try the carnivore diet, if that does happen, just hang in there. It just takes a couple of days because with new food, we end up with new poop. So it'll, it'll take some time. In finishing up, uh, you're going to end up being able to control a lot of your uh, maybe poor eating habits that you might currently have. You're going to be sticking to those meats and you're going to be dedicated to those meats and it's going to end up working out awesome for you and you're going to end up with, as I was pointing out a little earlier, that inadvertent fasting, which is going to get you away from snacking. It's going to get you away from eating seven times a day. You're going to start to eat probably two, three, four times a day at the most because these meals are dense. They're very, very dense and they're very satisfying. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never strength. I'm Mark Bell. That's the carnivore diet for Jordan Syatt. Catch you all later.